All right, so what is up with Madeira Beach, Florida? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna take you all around Madeira Beach and show you why it is the number one tourist attraction in all of Pinellas County and the greater Tampa Bay area and why people are flocking here by the droves, literally moving in, buying every piece of real estate they can get their hands on. Um, today, I'm at John's Pass, and if you can see behind me, it is pretty busy here for an overcast, cool day, um, but it's Florida, y'all. These are very rare uh, days, and, and it's actually a good opportunity to come check out all the local fair. Um, John's Pass here is awesome spot and again it's the number one tourist attraction in Pinellas County for a reason. Beach is directly across the road. John's Pass which we're going to talk about in a little bit where um, a hurricane came through a couple hundred years ago y'all and literally cleared a path through the intercoastal way giving access to the intercoastal so if you got a boat you can get out there um, but it's just a really cool spot. It's one of those areas where there are shops and restaurants and a boardwalk where you can go check it all out. But down this entire boulevard here, um, there are restaurants, bars, everything you need to do in terms of those tourist attractions and, and, and make it fun and have a great day. But I want to share John's Pass with you because it is such a, a cool place to come hang out for the day. Um, and it's, you know, there's a reason why it's the number one tourist attraction. And that's not my thing, but if it's yours, you, this is the great place to be. Um, what I also love about this is if you live in John's Pass and you live in Madeira Beach, you don't have to come hang out here, okay? Um, people get really nervous when they hear things like it's the number one tourist attraction and again that's not my thing but me and my family we come down and enjoy this area we've talked about it before like we live in Indian Rocks Beach which is about seven miles north of here um, beautiful little area and we don't have these types of amenities I can't take my family and go walk down and see several hundred shops but we got enough but if this is your thing man it's a cool place to come out to they have two public beaches, um, restaurants and bars right on them, restrooms, it's a good place to come hang out. You've got an arcade here, you've got a brewery here, you've got every single restaurant option you can imagine. Right now in the water and I'm gonna get that. first time of the channel we make videos that are all things Tampa Bay what it's like to live here what it's like to play here the food the dining the outdoors the beaches and the sunshine my name is Juan Alcala I'm a team leader here at the true living group at EXP Realty and we help people just like you move from all over the country to the Tampa Bay area uh, I get phone calls emails text messages heck I'm even getting direct messages on Instagram people just like you considering moving or relocating to the area and if that interests you just know that we've got your back my number is linked below you can even schedule a time in your calendar that's most convenient for you to talk to me directly or my team members um, and hey keep coming back if you find value here please hit that subscribe button click that little bell that way you can be notified every time we drop a new video so in today's video I'm gonna take you all around John's Pass and we're gonna get into that right now Okay, so what I wanted to do is get out in the neighborhoods here in Madeira Beach and show you what the real estate actually looks like, right? So, you know, this is right on the intercoastal, meaning that these properties here have direct access. There's, you know, they can have a boat slip, well, not all of them, but a lot of them can. Depends on what's going on with the seawalls behind them, but they have access to the water. Um, and John's Pass, as we discussed before, is like literally like a half mile south of here. So these addresses here will be able to pop right in the, on the intercoastal, head down south and be right out in the Gulf ASAP. So I wanted to share some of that with you here. But you can see these, you've got these bungalow styles, um, which are traditional to the area. You know, it would have been built back in the 40s, 50s and 60s. Um, you know, some of the homes here, the block homes that you're going to see, those were built in the 70s. But um, and then you've got these humongous, we call them scraping builds, where they tear down the old houses. And the reason you can tell is because you've got a tiny little bungo next to something like this guy right here. Beautiful, beautiful home. Two stories, garage in the lower level. You know, most of these, you know, will have pools in the backyard that lead right out to the intercoastal waterway. Just a beautiful spot. And it, hopefully you guys can see the water sneaking in behind us here. But as you walk down the block here, you'll be able to see the type of real estate that you have access to and most of the real estate in the area you're looking at somewhere between you know you can get in a condo right now in the threes um, for a single family residence you're going to be looking you know that high fours for something that needs a lot of work um, up into the you know few millions um, two three million is not uncommon in the area 
especially when you have water access like you're seeing here. Um, you'll be able to see at this little park right here, you've got access direct, directly to the intercoastal right there. And then um, this neighborhood's awesome, by the way. And then you can see directly behind me, I'll spin around. Right there, you can see the Seabreeze Hotel. That's the Gulf of Mexico. And then over here, good. Great little new constructions that they put together here. These houses have probably built in the last five to 10 years, but awesome area, awesome location. Great place to come live. If you're looking for this type of real estate, it is very hot, right? So we all know that the real estate market, and if you're not aware of that, is on fire. <laughs> and inventories are low, but when it comes to properties like this specifically, where you have access, um, you have a boat slip, these properties go fast. Um, you know, a lot of the times they're listed and sold in days. Uh, you know, once you start getting up to the, you know, three, four, five, ten, fifteen million dollar price ranges, then it slows down a lot. There's not a lot of, you know, fifteen million dollar homes here, but they do exist. So, you know, if you're looking for that type of lifestyle, the entire Tampa Bay has it to offer. You can look at Davis Islands. That's another really high end location if that's on your radar. But if you want to be a beach bum and you want to be able to have your boat in your front yard, this is the spot because you can be in the Gulf of Mexico literally in minutes. You've got access to all kinds of things. And you know, Madeira Beach is really cool because it has direct access. You got a bridge right across the intercoastal and you can go grocery shop. And we got Publix and everything here, but if you want the corporate stores like, um, you know, the, the big box stores, you just head over to Seminole. And uh, I've done a video on Seminole, Florida before. If you need that, you can check it out up here. Um, we'll link it in the description as well or put it on the end car so you can check it out. But just love this neighborhood, um, this style, uh, where you can come in and literally find just a tiny little home like this guy here, right next to a big big old brand new new, uh, new build there, which is just about lifestyle, right? Because you're not getting any more land like this. So, you know, sometimes you gotta come in and try to buy a home like this, you know, that may or may not be up to date or your style, but if you've got the budget, y'all, you can come in and you can build out a brand new, beautiful Key West style home if that's your thing. Um, you know, we've got the uh, Mediterranean style homes too, but more commonly you'll find here is that Key West style. Um, you know, I've done my St. Pete Beach video and like that's basically all you're going to see down there the entire time. Uh, you will see, like I said, the uh, the Mediterranean style, but not it's not as common, that's for sure. So hope this helps you guys. I love showing real estate in, in the uh, Tampa Bay area and there's so many different styles, right? I'm going to spin around here. It's very cool. This guy's got a Vespa in his front yard. But I mean, look at this place. You got these tiny little bungalows. Oh, this guy's got a, uh, totally forgot about this. But you know, is it every day that you see somebody with a lighthouse in their front yard? <laughs> How cool, man. So happy to share that with you guys. And uh, you know, hey, we're gonna roll over to John's Pass and uh, check that place out now. Cause I wanna take you down the boardwalk and show you what that's all about being the, uh, you know, the number one tourist attraction in all of Pinellas County. Um, you know, and I don't think I discussed it, but Madeira Beach is ranked the ninth best beach in America. You might say, okay, nine. So what? Well, St. Pete Beach is normally one or two. Clearwater Beach is number one or two. You got Madeira Beach that ranks in the top 10. I mean, y'all, our beaches are incredible. What's not to love? So if you're looking for that salty lifestyle, come on down, y'all. We're waiting on you. So we're having one of those days where the weather's just changing pretty quick as you can see it's gotten a little bit dark here but i wanted to show you this we're at john's pass in the in the south side over here um right by the pass literally right by the boardwalk and if you can see behind me they got these really cool little bungalows that you can rent i wanted to show you guys these because you know people are always wondering like where am i going to stay if i come down <laughs> um and there are so many hotels and 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 uh, uh resorts and beach resorts that you can check out but these cute little you know uh bungalows and cabanas that they put right in the area here make it super convenient there's one bedrooms two bedrooms so you know if you guys are you know, want to come down and check out the area 
these are great spots to do it and this is right at john's pass so obviously it's going to be a little bit more expensive um, depending on your budget here but super convenient uh, beach park is right across the street here as well um, just a fantastic area to come check out we are headed to the boardwalk now so i can kind of show you what that got what that looks like i'm going to give you guys a map um, of the entire layout here there's one here that i want to show you um, and then also i'll try to link one below if i can remember remind me if i don't all right y'all i wanted to show you this cool little map here that kind of shows what's going on here and as you can see down here this is the boardwalk which we were about to walk onto itself it's got a list of all the shops just look like a mall directory too right super convenient all the merchants you got here this is the village boulevard you got the mad beach brewing up in here which is the brewery all these are restaurants um right down where we are right now you've got this guy right here is uh bubba gumps and then caddies which is a, a local you must try caddies at least one of them there's like five locations at least um, but they are fantastic go check those out and then here's where all the local shops are there's ice cream shops pizza up here there's parking here um, there's parking down here which you can't see uh, the cabanas which we walked by on the way up uh, you guys should have saw those um, parking here is a parking structure um, and then the parking here is kind of tough just so you guys know you got to wait for somebody to pop out it's definitely going to be a little bit more challenging and then when the this drawbridge is up um, it's going to create a pretty big backup here in traffic just so you guys are aware too but pretty laid back great great map hope that helps out all right so this is one of my favorite things to come do is check out caddies is right behind me i'm sure you can hear the live music but what they've got down here is you can actually come sit right on the pass and hopefully you guys can check it out behind me right there there's a drawbridge right there but that's where the pass is specifically um, to the other side this is the access to the intercoastal um, like we were talking about earlier with the real estate that's how you're gonna get your boat down bring your boat through here and then right back out through the pass out there and now you're in the gulf of mexico so pretty convenient pretty easy it's a great place to come dine great place to come hang out for the day pirate ship rides you can get a, a crew, dinner tour you can do all the things that you need to do when it comes to john pass but come check it out you will not be disappointed y'all So we're here at the Madeira Beach Public Access, uh, which is the, the first one, the largest one. Um, cool little beach house with you know food and drinks and water. You can get everything you need. You can rent cabanas and chairs, all the stuff that you would uh, expect to find at a public beach here. And behind me, if you guys can see it too, we've got two, um, two volleyball courts that are public as well. I'm gonna walk past the other one. But just a beautiful spot, man. And the thing about Madeira Beach is there's so much going on publicly. I mean, right across the street here, you guys see if we can see it together. But right behind me there, you got that public beach access with the boathouse bathrooms there as well. You can get a drink, you can get some food. But if you cross the street, there's like 20 restaurants and bars. It is so convenient for you to, 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 to be here. You know, you're just a few miles north of St. Pete Beach. You're about 12 miles north of, I'm sorry, south of Clearwater Beach, which is great. But the whole Gulf, Gulf Coast looks just like this, right? So again, I, I live in Indian Rocks Beach area. I'm a few miles north of here. But all of our beaches, white sand, beautiful. I mean, you can see it's a pretty windy day, actually. Well, this is pretty common. You know, it's 65 degrees. We're in the winter here in Florida. The sun is shining. But as you can tell, our beaches are calm. And that's one of the things that is a big draw here 
uh, specifically is because our beaches are so calm you know you can come out and hang out yesterday I walked down here and you know it was just covered in people that were in their bathing suits and today it's a little bit cooler um, I think it's like 65 degrees and you know people are down here still enjoying the sunshine still enjoying enjoying the outdoors and it's just an awesome place to come hang out y'all there is every single water activity you can think of you can do in in, um, in Madeira Beach if you go to John's Pass you can rent um, a tiki barge one of those pedal tiki barges uh, you can do parasailing um, you can go sport fishing you can go uh, paddle boarding uh, you can rent jet skis there everything you need is available at your fingertips it's why it's such a great spot and this is the number one tourist attraction in all of Pinellas County um, again we're just west of Tampa and Hillsboro but it's the number one tourist attraction. John's Pass is that. There's so much shopping, there's breweries, there's everything you need um, when you come to you know, the Tampa Bay area. So what I want you guys to know is like, while this may not look like um, a rip roaring place today because it's a little bit chilly, this is a spot to come hang out in the summer, man. And there are plenty of hotels, Airbnbs, short-term rentals that you can find in the area as well. I'll turn around and give you guys some insights here. You can kind of see it, the outline, but all these beautiful condos we're gonna check out some real estate today too you know you guys can wrap your mind around whether this would be a good decision for you to make the jump you know is Madeira a place that you'd like to live um, there's intercoastal access you know we're on the Gulf right now but if you cross to the other side here the road um, you've got intercoastal access meaning that you can get a boat slip you can have a house with a boat in your backyard and um, the thing we didn't discuss about John's Pass is that's the spot so if you jump in the intercoastal and work your way south here give you a little little insight you work your way south to john's pass down there that pass is how you get out into the gulf take your boat fishing enjoy the day with your family go hang out go sit on the sand barge whatever it is but man this is the life any questions regarding Madeira Beach or the greater Tampa Bay area just know that my team here at the True Living Group would love to help you relocate move or invest in the area um, my contact information is linked below you can email text call heck you can even DM me on Instagram whatever it takes to get hold of me when it comes to moving to the Tampa Bay area we got your back hey and what I want to say is thanks for spending time if you got value today please hit that subscribe button click that little bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video like this and also drop a comment if you got an area you'd like to, for us to check out specifically please let me know i'd be more than happy to do that for you i could even tag you in that video it'd be awesome um and uh hey until next time go out live that tampa life